here we're going to be looking at the retail inventory method and we're going to be looking at markups and markdowns and how we would determine those markups and markdowns here for determining the proper inventory value at the end of the accounting period and this is used for retailers here and let's just look we're going to be looking at the concept here the retail method concept here and that's where retailers frequently mark up and mark down prices they charge for customers so we're going to be looking at this example here with the retail store purchases a hundred dresses here at thirty dollars each that would be considered the cost here on these dresses and then they establish a selling price here of sixty dollars each that's considered the original retail price and we're going to be looking at our simple example here where we're going to have start with our sixty dollar retail price and we're going to have some increases and decreases in that price here made by the store manager on the sale of these dresses here and we're going to have to determine the markup here and then we have the markup cancellation the markdown here and the markdown cancellation so let's start here with the original retail price here of sixty dollars that was its selling price here of sixty dollars so we start with the sixty dollar amount here and then let's say for whatever reason here the store manager decided he can make a little more money on these dresses so he increase the price here in the dresses by ten dollars from sixty dollars here to seventy dollars here so what we would have to do this is what we would consider a markup here a markup of ten dollars here just simply the difference here the ten dollar increase now let's um, say for example the dresses weren't selling that were well so they decreased the price here from seventy dollars to sixty four dollars each so we had a decrease here of six dollars here so what that is considered here is a markup cancellation here uh, so we had the markup amount here of ten dollars so we cancel out that decrease of six dollars here on this markup so we would consider that a markup cancellation here of six dollars now let's say uh, further going on here the store manager decided that we were sitting here at a retail price of sixty four dollars and they wanted to have a clearance on these dresses just say for example we wanted a clearance and we want to clear them out here at forty six dollars each so we have a decrease here in eighteen dollars in our retail price here from sixty four dollars to forty six dollars so what we would do here to count for that we have uh, first uh, we have this markup cancellation and we would uh, determine that here to be four dollars here so we have the decrease in eighteen dollars but we have a markup cancellation here of four dollars and that's simply the balance here we had the original markup here of ten dollars we reduced it here by six dollars so the remaining amount here that we'd have to uh, reduce our markup cancellation would be the ten dollars so now uh, of the eighteen dollars here we uh, take uh, four dollars here goes to the markup cancellation so we've reduced this total markup here of ten dollars down to zero at this point now the balancing amount here so we've accounted for four dollars here of this eighteen dollar decrease here in val in price so just taking eighteen minus four here that gives us the remaining amount here we go to the markdown here of in this case fourteen dollars so now we've accounted here for the total decrease here in eighteen in the price here of eighteen dollars here uh, four dollars here went to the markup cancellation and the remaining fourteen dollars goes to the markdown now let's f further say here well we had this clearance sale but all of a sudden we'll just go for example here we increased the price here to forty eight dollars from the forty six dollars amount that it was sitting here so we had a two dollar increase here in the retail in the price here so what we would do here in this case we would uh, take and we would be decreasing here our mark we are sitting here with fourteen dollars in our markdown amount here so what we have is our markdown cancellation so that two dollars that two dollar increase would go against this markdown here so we'd be uh, canceling uh, two dollars of this fourteen dollar markdown so here that we go as a markdown cancellation here for two dollars so what would we be remaining here in our markdown amount would be the fourteen dollar amount here less the two dollar amount of our markdown cancellation gives us twelve dollars would be remaining in our markdown here so that's where we would uh, stop at this point here and any further markups and markdowns here would have to be considered uh, based on this markdown value here so just in summary here uh, just to go over our terms here and our definitions number one our markup here that would be the additional markup of the original retail price and number two here our markup cancellation that would be the decrease here in our markup 
So our markup cancellation, that decreases any amount here we have in our markup. Now our markdowns, that decreases the original sales price here. So whatever, whatever we have in our sales price here, whatever decreases we have, that would be considered a markdown here. And then markdown cancellations here. Uh, that's our markdowns are later offset by any increases in prices of goods that have been marked down. So if we had uh, some amount here marked down, like in this case we had uh, forty-six dollars here, and the, the amount that we determined the markdown on that was fourteen dollars here, and then we later increased the price here by two dollars from forty-six to forty-eight, that was a markdown cancellation. So that would go here as our amount here for a markdown cancellation. All right, so uh, fair enough. This is for calculating and just using the example here to determine how we calculate our markups and our markdowns here in a retail inventory or, or for a retail inventory. Now that we've determined the basics here of determining our markups and our markdowns here by our change here in our retail price, let's just go and look at how these markups and our markdowns would be uh, figured in here for calculating our ending inventory in this case here. So again, this is for the retail inventory method. We would have our costs laid out here and then we'd have some uh, and, uh, retail prices here. And I'm just saying that's that we start with the original retail price here. And just say, for example, we had some beginning inventory for the period. We had some purchases here. So then uh, adding our inventory and to our purchases here, the beginning and we come up with a merchandise available for sale. Now, this is where we would uh, be, where our markups would be figured in here we would add any markups here and just say we had six thousand dollars worth here and then we would subtract out or any markup cancellations here to determine our net markups here so say we had markup cancellations here of two thousand dollars so we would subtract that here from our markups of six thousand dollars and we'd come up with our net markups here of four thousand dollars so you add that to the merchandise available for sale here of seventy two thousand add in our net markups here we come up with a total amount here of seventy six thousand dollars now let's look at here our markdowns here this is where we would be deducting our markdowns say so let's say we had five thousand dollars here in markdowns and then we would have to determine the net amount here of our markdown so we would subtract any markdown cancellations here from our markdown so say we had four thousand dollars worth of markdown cancellations subtract that here from our markdowns and we come up with a net amount of our markdowns here of a thousand dollars. Now what we would do here is we would be subtracting that here from our total amount that we had here of seventy six thousand dollars subtracting the net markdowns here of a thousand and you come up with a total amount here of seventy five thousand dollars and just say for example we had some sales here so we had some sales for the period of fifty thousand dollars you subtract that here from the uh, amount we calculated here at $75,000 after our um, net markdowns here, uh, subtracting that 50000 from it. We come with the ending inventory at retail here of $25,000. So the only thing I wanted to show here is where these markups and these markdowns would figure in here when you're determining here your ending inventory where you start with a beginning inventory amount here. You have some purchases for the period here and um, then you'd have some, uh, you're looking at your total merchandise available here and then in this case you'd be taking a totaling our amounts here you'd be deducting any sales here for the period here subtracting that here from our subtotal amount here to determine your ending inventory here at retail